I also fell in love with the lifestyle. So, okay. I do have Vanessa Macy. She moved from California to Texas. She was a licensed agent in California and I helped her find her home and an investment property here. And so she is just going to share her thoughts on it briefly. And, um, she now works on my team. So I'm super excited. I love this chick. You will love her too. All right, welcome, Vanessa. Thank you so much for meeting on Zoom and sharing your story. Uh, tell me, why did you decide to move from California to Texas? Well, um, it I got the idea to move to Texas when I was looking to buy property for myself in California. So I worked as a uh, California real estate agent from 2017 to I guess till I moved in 2019 and I did a lot of property management. So I'm like working in real estate. I'm seeing what the rental prices are. Um, I, I really, really always wanted to buy a rental property and I was looking and I was crunching the numbers and um, there was no cash flow. Um, the, the, it was almost negative cash flow where it's like, after you pay a fortune for this property, you're still going to be pouring in money. And then in the beginning of 2020, California passed, um, statewide rent control. So it, it really made it hard for new investors who, you know, needed to increase rents on property that they potentially want to buy. So I just kept hitting, um, brick walls when it came to like what I really wanted to do, um, which was by investment property. And of course, by a, a home I was renting, well, not renting. I managed the property that I lived in, but essentially I didn't own any property. And, um, that's what I wanted to do. So, um, I started looking, actually, I ended up, I kept ended up in Texas in a layover every time. Like I took my daughter out of the country for her birthday, or me and my husband went, um, out of the country, and we just kept ending up in, in DFW. So I'm like, hey, what do you think about this place? <laughs> like, do you think this is here? And I'm like, I wonder what the real estate is like. Look at these beautiful houses. So I just um, started looking on Realtor.com because I didn't have access to, um, to our MLS. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so I just started looking on Realtor.com. And then I just started, um, you know, studying, like, you know, how much these homes are. I'm like, this isn't real. This, this beautiful house for, for this, for 200, 300. Well, when I first started looking like in 2019, it was like 200, 300,000. And then I was looking at investment properties and I'm like doing the numbers for the cash flow, And I'm like, oh, I can actually make some money. Like this is, this is good. And, um, and then I got connected with Dana. Uh, I could ever do it. <laughs> and then I got connected with Dana from her YouTube and just kind of found out more and more about Texas and I couldn't let it go. And um, I'm glad I didn't because uh, well, now, so you first bought uh, an investment property, a fourplex, and then you bought, I bought, oh wait, no, you flipped it. Yeah. I, I meant to buy the investment. That's property right. First. Yes, I, I meant to buy the investment property first. And then because I wasn't ready to like just up and leave, like I couldn't believe like I just left. I bought the investment property. and I plan to manage it out of state or That's possibly right. get a property manager. But I came out here to look at investment property with Dana and fell in love with the houses. Like the second house, I'm, I'm living in the second house. I saw <laughs> 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 or it might be the first house. Um, but I just really fell in love with the, the, the residential homes. Like, you know, so then I just bought that first. Yes. Let and me, then, let me go back real fast to the investment property. You said that you could have a positive cash flow here and that's calculating your property taxes as well. Correct. It does. It does. Yes. Because I know that many people are hesitant on purchasing an investment property in Texas because the property taxes are so high here. But I'm I'm just happy to hear that you have a positive cash flow on that. Yeah, it it is always paid for itself, and um, I do have cash flow. But the way I manage it, I you know you just leave it there. But it's, yeah, it's always, a long term investment. Yeah, it's a long term investment. But it um, in California, even with the taxes, I think they were like one point three percent, and then my taxes for my investment property is like two point something. So it's like double. Like, yeah. 
almost double, but it ends up being the same amount when if you, if the, the price of the investment property is almost triple. So you would pay more taxes anyway. Okay. That makes sense. So, you know, it, it makes sense to, I get positive cash flow every, every month. Yes. Okay, good. So you have the investment property, you have your personal family property and um, tell me, let's go back to, cause that's, well, you already have great equity in both now. <laughs> yeah. You got in just in time. Um, but let's go back to, um, so you moved here for the property. You fell in love with the homes that you could move into. Tell me a little bit, what's been your experience so far here in Texas? Um, I also fell in love with the lifestyle. So okay. as I started to um, find out more about like Texas and look at more Dana Pollard videos and just come <laughs> out here. Um, there's so much to do for families. And I'm like, and then the school districts, I fell in love with the fact that, you know, it would challenge my, my child. They can do AP, they can do honors and um, lots of sports that they can, it can challenge them. So I fell in love with the lifestyle, lots of stuff to do. So um, I was just looking on Google Maps, like it was like, I might as well just up and get to Texas because I spent <laughs> my time just driving around on Google Maps and <laughs> every chance I get to be in Texas because there's so much to do, which is ironic because every all of my friends and family is like, well, why would you move to Texas? Everything is in California. You do everything here. But I, I don't I don't think so. Okay. I, don't, I don't agree. But okay. sorry, what was your other question? Well, um, I don't know. It's not really a question, but I remember driving with you. It was in North Fort Worth past Roanoke. We were on Highway 170 and you said, Dana, look like it's green here. I don't know what you're talking about. You said that it wasn't that beautiful. It's just a bunch of flat land and, and DFW. It's gorgeous here. I remember you saying that and then going back to LA on FaceTime going, see all the concrete. <laughs> Yeah, I had to show you because I didn't know what you were talking about. I'm like, are you talking about the beach? Because the beach is one thing, but like yeah. there, if you're just in the city, like I live near LAX, it's dirty. <laughs> Sorry, like I feel like such a traitor, <laughs> 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 but it's dirty and it's, um, it's a lot of um, like, you know, graffiti everywhere. Um, there's a lot of buildings. Um, you could see the air quality is just like a lot of smog and um it just it it's not that nice unless you're at the beach and you work so hard to make a living in california that you're not at the beach mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah so, okay, so um that makes sense. out here i saw all the greenery um there's so like we came in october and there was so much um greenery I saw, you know, a couple of little rolling hills, uh, you know, around and just the, the grass and the open plains and the open space and the clouds, like the clouds in this, this sound, <laughs> the clouds in the sky, they look HD. Like, it's just so clear. Oh, that's yeah, They look like they're in high definition. So it, it was really um, in the lakes, like the lakes and, you know, the lifestyle and just even walking around and talking to people, like it's a little slower and okay. you can appreciate that like if you want better quality of life you can you can actually talk to people people say hello <laughs> yeah. okay very good so you feel like the people have treated you well in texas oh yeah 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 good okay and i want i have a, a dumb question but i've heard this from other other california people in november when everything goes dormant the grass turns brown were you shocked by that Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> so coming from California, I, I don't see seasons. It's like, now the weather is perfect, but it's perfect all the time. It's good to have some change, right? Uh -huh. So um, from, from um, you know, year round, it's like 75. And then in the summer, you might get like an 85. And then in the winter, you might get like a 65. But it's just pretty much in the 70s, right? So everything turned brown and I'm like, what's going on? And, and my neighbor warned me, she's like, you know, you know, around here, like all the grass, I'm like, it couldn't be like, it's just so green everywhere. And then it happened. And I'm like, 
And even my mom came out to visit me and she brought her dog and she thought her dog was going to like, you know, be in the grass. And she's like, what happened? So it, it freaked me out, but it was really nice when spring came around and you see everything blossom and it's like, wow. I mean, some people say Texas doesn't have seasons, but I think oh, it does. It does. Like you get a little, I saw leaves turn red and orange and I, I was in my little California bubble, but I'm like, I only saw that in a magazine, like in a picture or a calendar. <laughs> I'm like, I never saw that. So um, I thought that was pretty cool. Like, yeah, it gets a little cold, but it was cool to see we had snow yes well we used to pray for snow snow until last year <laughs> i'm never gonna pray for snow yeah, again no <laughs> it's that's not normal i thought it was cute like they you know one two three and then i was like okay come on like um i have a slow stream in my in my kitchen and and i didn't lose power or anything but like it, i kind of got over it but mm -hmm. it was really nice mm -hmm. to see some change yes change. i enjoyed it Yes, I like the seasons as well. They're not too extreme, usually. They're not too extreme here, but we do get to, you know, experience, experience the different seasons. Different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Well, tell me one final question. If someone is considering moving from California to Texas or maybe Seattle or you specifically California, what would you say to them? Um, I think that they need to do it. They're going to improve their quality of life. I, I feel like you have more choices here, especially like Washington, California. Um, if you choose not to get your child vaccinated, like if you don't want to do like the school, you, you can, um, you have the option here. I'm, I think in a lot of text, a uh, lot of states, but you have the option to get exemptions, just mm -hmm. more options to do things that you believe in or yeah. that, you know, that you want to do, you get more house for your money mm -hmm. um and even with the the prices of the homes increasing in texas you it's still more house for your money it's mm -hmm. still a good investment choice and still a good investment in your family choice because it's like um lots to do it's so big i'm still exploring different parts of texas so you yes really, yes really enjoy enjoy it so you won't have like if you're on the coast you won't have the beach but the lakes are really nice there's Very like good. Jopal Lake, uh, Lake Ray Hubbard, Lake Rockwall Lake. Oh, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. There's so many cool lakes, so many w cool water sports that you could still do. Yeah. Have you been to Eagle Mountain Lake yet? I haven't, but I know where it, where it is. It's like uh -huh. west, right? It's yes. like over there. Is that by Hazlitt? Yes, yes. No. Yes, oh, well, it's, it's on, like, you, you'll pass Hazlitt, yes. You'll pass. It's going that way west. Mm -hmm. um, no, I went to, um, I, I know Grapevine yeah. Lake. Mm-hmm. And then the Lake Ray Hubbard, that was really nice. Yeah, yeah. And then I want to go to Joe Pool Lake because they kind of set it up like a beach. Yes, yes. That's so true. there's so there's still so much to do. And then there's so many cool water parks. So it's like mm -hmm. it's it's so much to do out here. So <laughs> I, I think you should just take the leap. You won't regret it. I I know my my husband, my son, my you know my. All my and then I I just had a little baby so she's gonna have, get to do everything she's a tech <laughs> she's born she here so, so, so it's we all love it um and actually my husband ended up coming here and making more money here oh that's <laughs> so, awesome so a lot of people think that you're going to um you know take a pay cut but they they have jobs where they pay you know even better pay more yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. And uh, so Vanessa is now an agent on our team. Do you still have an, a license in California? Did you keep no. that? No, I let it go in June. That just passed. Oh, OK. OK. Well, she's licensed here in Texas and she works with our investors as well as buyers. And so um, if you fill out the Dream Home questionnaire, she may be your agent. <laughs> thank you, Dana.